time of day, John DuPont and I, Lake Wallace C. The weather was really kind of the story of the day. Lots of rain, lots of wind, as you saw throughout. Now I'll give all credit, well, not all, but a lot of credit to my guy, John DuPont. Uh, I had to pre-fish. John had pre-fished out here, and he really didn't put us on fish. At Lake Wallace C. has been fishing really tough. Really tough. The last weekend 40 boat tournament, one limit. Now I expect there to be a lot more limits way today, but we did manage to uh, limit, called a couple times. came on to Chatterbug. Chatterbug! But John, what was really the key to the, all the spots we fished today? You picked them out. What, what was the holding the fish? I think the weed lines in the very shallow water, probably less than five foot of water, but once you could find those weeds that were close to those docks, we could really start hitting, hitting fish, at that, fish at that point. Seemed like he weeds were cabbage or coontail. I honestly don't know which is the difference. I think it's coontail, but cabbage looking weeds. And you know, we caught those fish early on, and, and then it kind of slowed down. John got to keep on a Ned rig. Oh man, it's going to camp. but the two bites started to pick up. Now you see in the video, extreme bass tackle, uh, Canadian Mist Light. That's the tube I was using, quarter ounce, bite me jig head, shoved in the middle of it. And, they, and we lost one good one, right next to the boat, snapped the line. Yeah. Yeah. Are you joking or? We finally got something going on the docks. around some deeper water and they were coming up shallow I think those those docks are really holding fish we definitely caught plenty of fish around the docks now I will say this we get around docks that had a lot of wind blowing into them far fewer fish it seemed like the calm water held more fish at least the docks and my theory is and John and I talked about this what's going on there is that those fish with the waves and so forth they feel much more secure at wandering around but when it's really calm even though it's overcast 
the water was ultra clear to make them feel much more vulnerable which set them up a little bit better and that's where really uh, that's when things really started going good it was really a grind until we found a few fish on those docks and we caught quite a few fish before our day was over so we'll see how the weigh-in goes hopefully we'll finish in the money but I tell you it's gonna be really tough to do that uh, guesstimate John how much you got how much weight I'm gonna say between eight and nine pounds all right I'll be happy with nine pounds they're paying back top six the army bass circuit west division season finale thank you for tuning in here comes the weigh-in Pay back six spot today. Six place gets their money back to seventy dollars. Uh, nine point seven zero pounds. Chris Carmen and William Elliott. Carmen Elliott, very good. Great job, sir. <laughs> Fifth place, one hundred five dollars. Ten point one four pounds. Travis Osmond and Brian Molnar. Congratulations, outstanding job at same season. Thank you. Fourth place is $175. 10.39 pounds, Jeremiah King. Jeremiah, all by himself. Great job, sir. Well deserved, Dr. Third place, $265. 10.91 pounds, Steve Klein and Mark Farber. There he is. Thank you, sir. Back from the dead. Nice yeah. Job. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Even the blind dog finds the bone. Yeah, we were starting to wonder. All right, what was, <laughs> excuse me, second place, $440. 11.08 pounds, Kyle Kaser and Cody Pettit. Good job, Kyle. 2019 West Division Season Champions, unofficially outstanding job, sir. First place, $710. 11.26 pounds, Chip Harrison and Brian Whitaker. You know, if you lose some weight, you'd walk faster. I oh, man. I've earned this, buddy. I love it. Hey, Congratulations, Chip. Truly outstanding. Thank you. Hey, our classic.